Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the WGLNA Season 2 Gold League. I'm your host, Christian Toma. To my left, David Williams. Make sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube backslash WGLNA. If you're not watching this on BattleViewer.com, go over there, guys, right now. What are you doing? And check it out. And finally, follow us on Twitter at WGLNA so you guys can stay up to date on what's happening in the community around you. One of the things that is happening in the community around you is next Thursday, we are bringing in Quinn to answer your guys' questions to us. So use the hashtag mailbag, tweet at WGLNA with your question, and we will be answering that live on the show. You have questions about, about me, to David, to WGLNA as a whole, you guys let us know and we'll get those answered for you. And you can also answer for us on Twitter the question of the day. Which is, which is your favorite tier tank Tier 10 tank <laughs> in the hull down. My favorite, uh, well, as, as I kind of said before when this was first asked to me, don't play a lot of hull down worthy tanks, but I know for 100% fact the E100 is not it. It's not a good hull down tank. It's not terrible. I mean, there's certainly worse. Okay, but sure. But it's not great either. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, punch it's not in the like face. 50B bad hull down, <laughs> which is yeah. pretty bad. Yeah. How about you? Uh, E3, maybe? Uh, it kind of feels like cheating. I'm going to go with the E5, even though it's got one oh. glaring weak point. It's just, I, I feel like, the while well, the IS-7, like like people said, it's the best for hull down in a lot of ways. Yeah. You don't get to use that hull down as well as the E5 gets to use it. So it's a little bit of a meta answer, not sure. just which one bounces the most in, e, in, in uh, hull down. Okay. So for the combination of things E5, you get a little bit of wiggles, people can't hit that hatch very easily. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate you not cheating. Let us know right now, guys, which one you think it is as we get ready for our second match of the night. It's going to be Ding and A versus Aquatic M60s. On the side of Ding, we have Master Putin. On the side of Aquatic, we have Mr. Man. Gentlemen, welcome to the face-off. Master Putin, going to go ahead and start out with you. We haven't seen you since the roster changes have happened. You guys added Game is Rigged. So tell me a little bit about that. Where is he going to fit into the, the whole team? Uh, game, uh, yeah, it's my old uh, teammate from Hashtag RU. Very good player. Uh, very good at uh, stra strategies. He helps with strategies now. Uh, just kind of looking forward to playing with him again. Yeah. Uh, he plays the batch at also sometimes, uh -oh. so I'm not going to be just stuck on one tank now, uh -oh. hopefully. Bring a little bit of competition. So. Always, always good to be playing with family. Don't let your batch chat hear that. They're fickle, man. They just won't <laughs> hit shots anymore. I said some bad things about my 1390 once, and she never forgave me. Harsh, it's man. A true story. We'll write a letter later. We'll write a letter. It took a lot of apologies to get it to fire straight again. <laughs> Anyways, Putin. <laughs> Putin. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's your favorite tier 10 tank at hull down? Uh, I'd say STB just because you can use it in so many, you know, so many different situations. It's, it has a very high depression value, I believe. So and that alpha, a lot easier to use. Yeah, alpha for a medium is great. Third highest DPM in the game. It's a great tank. Sounds like fun to be hauled down. Once you learn to get used to its gun, it's great. You don't get shot and you get to shoot them. Sounds like a fantastic situation indeed. Master Putin, thank you so much. Mr. Man, now over to you. Again, we haven't seen you guys since the roster changes. You guys added, is it Ural? Yes. Ural. You guys added it. Ural. So where, where, how is he going to fit into the team? Where are you guys planning on using him? Um, he has a lot of calling experience, so we're hoping to bring that hmm. to, the, uh, to the strategy side a little bit. And uh, we're getting him used to how our team works and stuff before we play him. Awesome. Actual match, so. Well, it seems like a lot of teams bringing these caller experiences is, is very helpful. Indeed. All right, Mr. Man, what's your favorite tank at hull down? Tier 10 tank in hull down. Uh, I'd have to go with the E5. I love the E5. And I, uh, I actually, when I first got it, I didn't like it that much. But once I started playing it more, it, I got used to it. Yeah, again, you build that relationship and you don't say mean things to her. And, and she'll, tra <laughs> she'll treat you right. She'll treat you right. Gentlemen, before we get into the battle, Master Putin, anything you'd like to say to Mr. Man? Let's have a good match. I think this one's important for both of us. All right, Mr. Man, indeed. your response. Uh, good luck, have fun, and yeah, it's definitely very important. All right, guys, best of luck to both of you, and we'll see you shortly. So here is the match listing. As you can see, they're ranked 9 and 10, so this makes quite a big difference mm. for them when it comes to mm. relegation and playoff uh, potential. I think AM60s has a chance for playoffs. I do not think that Ding and A does, but they definitely want to... Oh, sorry, we went to the rosters first. Of course, showed off the uh, those exact uh, player changes you talked about Euro. and the regular players. So out of this screen, you can see rank 10, rank 9. Uh, I believe Ding and A is trying to stay away from relegation territory, and uh, AM60s uh, potentially trying to get into the playoffs. We can double-check that here in a second. Both of them like to play steps or... <laughs> 
steppies is just permanently <laughs> stuck in my head, <laughs> thanks to wall hacks. And one of them likes the 140, one of them likes the T22. Both are great tanks on this map. Papa D, Jean leading off for Ding and A, and Mr. Man for Quanticum 60s. You uh -huh. like that? You like that added suspension? Yeah, the suspension on that that name, that suspension on the name Dave was great. You've been really, you've been really taking lessons. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, one of the things I was going to say about Papa Dijon, uh, as far as the fantasy goes, as far as the stats goes, um, I always pick Master Putin because I love watching him play. And he always is the one who, like, had, oh, man, look at these sweet shots in the bat chatter. Look, look, it's crazy. But I always forget that it's Papa Dijon who usually racks up most of the points here. Um, so maybe maybe some of my, my faults. But I'm, I still love Master Putin. I love, I love watching how he goes. But now that he's not going to be in the bat chat, possibly, I don't know. That might, uh, might have to change. Yeah, he does well in the bat chat, so it'd be a shame to take him out. But yeah, that's so happened a couple good. different times. I like to pick people based on what tanks they're playing and what they're going to be, what maps I think they're going to play, that kind of thing. And then they start switching them around, like Eclipse. Eclipse is just hard to bet on sometimes. High voltage has been this time. They're switching around. They put Ox in Ox a in tank in, destroyer yeah. at one point, and I, I nearly just stormed off set. It's like, don't put Ox in <laughs> what a he tank did? destroyer. He actually started just messaging them like crazy. All on all the social media, he didn't. He didn't do that. I'm trying to make it dramatic. It's like trying to like, you know, like, like trying oh, to he did what? Add that suspension. Oh, he did what? <laughs> See, there's so many ways suspension can be used. Just doesn't have to be on cars or tanks. But right now, let's take a look at some tanks, ladies and gentlemen. As DNA is going head to head against Aquatic M60s on the Ruhrenberg, let's take a look at what we've got for the tanks. We have an English teacher or two out there. This is driving them nuts. <laughs> Look, suspense. <laughs> suspense. What? Like, that's the You point. can't give them the satisfaction. Ah. Ding with two 113s, a 260, a bat chat, two TVPs, and a boar sig. AM60s uh, with a 50B, two, or a 50B, a 215, two E5s, a T22, a WZ111-4. One dash four. We're just going to call that the one four. It's called the one four. And the object 430B2. Very interesting lineups coming out from both these teams. Something that, I mean, we haven't seen we haven't seen the Roomba in a while. The Borzig, uh, not on this map at least. We've yeah. seen it on Morovanka. Right, right, it's right. It's a great right. tank there. I still like the 1390 a tad more yeah, for active scouting. Scout, right. But the way Simp uses it, I mean, they, they don't want to do an active scout, so they just take the Borzig because when your scout inevitably gets found. The poor six probably going to do more in that one shot it gets <laughs> that, off that makes sense. than the 1390 would if it you know you got like two. Clipping, so clipping, sure. They figure, and and I would not be surprised if the poor six camo is in a similar space to the 1390. It might even be better. Really? Sometimes things happen with the numbers that wouldn't immediately be apparent. Like why would a tank as large as the poor six have a high camo rating? It's a tank destroyer, so it just does. Deal with it. 94 seconds now on clock as Darth Vader is going to apply that one forward. Ding and A, the rest of them moving up here to Delta Village. Veloxa and Papa Dijon. They left the bat chat in the F7 area. And the Roomba starting to move up the F road. So we'll see how that kind of comes into play. So he's basically just going to start firing shots in the Delta Village. That's his job, it seems like. Indeed, he'll move into the F road into a position that we can get a shot on here. Boom. Here it is. So this place is, is tricky. As you can see, there wow. is a gap where there you can is. fire into town. He didn't even see that. There was nothing spot there. He just let it go into a common place where tanks sit. This is one of the things that's dangerous about North's town. But oh, he, he gave up his position now. when he did it. And now Felix oh, is going to come after him. If Felix gets enough damage on him or another person connects with Robstar, Felix can definitely win a head-to-head -head with him. But he needs to make sure the numbers are right before he takes that gamble because a lot of different things can go wrong there. That one had bounced. He might have been different territory. Either way, Felix is probably going to take this oh, one home. Another Rob shot Star. guarantees he's going to win it as Felix finishes him off, taking out Romstar in the F road and giving AM60s a pretty significant advantage for the rest of this fight. Quadic M60s doing a great job backing up that 432 in the row when he needed help, just when he needed it. And now they're going to continue taking a lot of damage, though. DNA doing a great job making them pay for what they're doing. Their kind of positions of movement. Darth Vader forced to move off of the cap. DNA not comfortable keeping him there. Now at this all. is this is a super dangerous territory for AM60s. They have a lot of tanks in the F row that separates Delta Village here. And while that is often a thing that a lot of people think is good, because you can get these shots in between buildings, you get proximity lights to keep tra tabs on where your opponent is. So in case you don't know what I'm talking about, gaps in between these buildings, if you can physically fit a shot through there, it'll count. That is insane. You can see Velox is actually shopping for one right now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> hello. 
So you got to know. Hello. You have to know these things, and you have to know how to bait them out to get across these places. So what I'm saying is to for Morphic to get out of where he is right now, he has to risk taking a shot. And on top of that, the zero road or the zero line is entirely open aside from Veggie. If Dingane knew this and they plowed everything down the zero line, they could catch, well, not everything, but just enough. They could catch all those guys in the F road hmm. dead to rights hit them from multiple angles and ruin them. So wow. this is scary. So not, yeah, not, not on the waters yet. It's a tricky yet. thing to play Delta Village right off. You notice a lot of other teams like to back off down behind the buildings to put as much distance between them as possible and prevent them from getting shot from the F road as easily. Uh -huh. Felix now under fire from Master Putin. Actually, Putin trying to take those shots at Shapeshifter. Shapeshifter wow. putting all two oh. of his clips so far into Master Putin. Veloxa taking out Shapeshifter from behind, but Putin barely staying alive there. Just enough. Just missing aggressive. his just missing his final shot there, but Veloxa there to take it home in that 113. Nice teamwork coming out for DNA. Now that is a tank down for Aquatic M60s. HP super close, just barely in favor of Ding here, but they are on offense. So they're the ones who are gonna have to make the move at the end of the day. Unless Aquatic feels confident to make one against them. Master Putin now reloaded, coming back. See, maybe looking for Felix, maybe trying also, to go head to head. He's going very far down the line. Yeah, that's what he was looking for right there to try and get that view differential. But Felix sees him just as both of them try to take shots at each other and back away. Nothing connecting, but Felix is in a tricky place here. He is a valuable asset as long as he doesn't go down. And his entire game plan right now is just to make it incredibly difficult to, for people to take him out mm. so that he can come in late. The most important thing for Felix in his current position is very simply not to die Stay alive. before the action Stay starts. Alive. Because he's dragging people's attention, like Putin over here, took a lot of damage to potentially come pick him up and also exposed himself a little bit more to try and pick Felix off. Uh, like Putin isn't going to play this game no, anymore. No, he's running all around. He's going to come all the way around right as he's about to clip and put all four of his shots into the first target he gets solid eyes on. And that looks like, Morphic. well... Rejects, maybe? Nope. Them actually being in the F road is saving them right now because if they were in the typical positions, Putin would have shots. Oh, yeah, the house But the is rest of Ding and A is letting them sit there. So Putin's going to have to look a little bit further. He can get that angle if he keeps going up to this building. He will find it eventually, and that F road will not save AM60s for long enough. The only question here is two minutes and 15 seconds Damn. enough for Ding and A and Putin to make all of these shots count as Putin begins to unload into Flesh's 215B all the way from the A line and two shots counting out of four. Now 317 going back at him. Veggie seeing that. He's going to turn his turret. This is going to call Felix out of his hiding and start coming back to join the fight right now, which has definitely begun here as Redux pushes over the side. Taking 71, Mr. Man taking down Scoopra. Veloxa fighting Redux and the battle, ladies and gentlemen, has started Velox at 373 going into him, 417 to Mr. Man. Looks like he might be going down. Game is rigged, has a lot of shots. Three kills in a row coming up from DNA. One after the other, a triple kill, a phenomenal focus fire, and shots coming out from that team. Game is rigged, takes down Flesh, and now it's on to Veggie. What, what in the world just happened there? Four tanks for Aquatic 60s gone just like that and now veggie's the last one to remain alive dna is going to finish him off there in that t22 and going to pick up now their first victory of the night it looks like it's going to be papa Dijon, darth vader who's it going to be darth vader picks up that kill and that is going to be dna picking up a victory so wow i mean that happened <laughs> real quickly the, I was worried for Ding and A, because like you said, like if they were to push up and, and find the kills, then they should be able to have it. But Felix was left out. I was like, oh, man, what if people forget about Felix? And he can just take off, drive into the city. There's not enough time to cap at that point. And then Aquatic M60s can come back and win. But they clearly were a lot better thinking than I was, because they turned. he was one of the first people who went down that fight. How did how did that happen so quickly? I mean, I mean... Was that just good focus fire? Was that just, you know, like, was that Master Putin whittling them down long enough for them to just push over the top? I mean, three tanks just like that, one after the other after the other, without a single response. Those are the F road positions that we were talking about, or that I was talking about before. Just coming back to haunt you, plus Putin coming in from behind. They're just, they just get frozen just in a like position that. where everything is death. Let's go Woo! ahead and look at the numbers and you'll see what I'm talking about. Don't want to be there. Don't. Just don't want to be there. So the fact that nobody had a gigantic lead over everybody else is a clear clear example of what I was just speaking about right now. Papa Dijon, man, if I had known he's going to be playing an Object 260, 
I w- it might have changed my opinion of things. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen too long because that is not going to be a high point earning tank, I tell you what. <laughs> Darth Vader's 113, 2.8 thousand damage. Veloxa 2.8. Gamus Rig 2.6. Putin 2.2. Very critical damage yeah. points. Papa D 1.5. Over here for AM60, 2.6 for Veggie, 2,000 for Felix, 1.5 for Shapeshifter hmm. and Morphic. So when you're able to get fired on from that region, now, if they had been on the backside of those buildings, it wouldn't have saved them from Putin. Right. But it would have given them the ability to turn around a few guns oh, and fire at worrying. Putin if he poked up. Gotcha. But because they're up against those those buildings, the rest of Ding can see if they turn their turret, mm-hmm. and they're this far away from them. They don't have to drive across a road and wait for your turret to turn all the way around. They can just poke out and fire. Your turret's not going to turn around in time. Huh. So they get whittled around from all sorts of different angles. And they just they they allowed themselves to be boxed in. That part of Delta Village is no man's land. Dangerous. <laughs> unless you know stepping into it is going to be a good payoff for you. So they went up, they tried to help out Felix, took in the shots, and they should have just backed off. They didn't. Ding and A capitalized on it. Now we're switching sides, getting right back into the battle. Let's take a look at what we've got. Four tanks. Ding and A with two two one fives, a two sixty, a T twenty two, W one hundred, and two conquerors. Four AM sixties. A 50B, a 215, an E5, 430, two T22s, and an RU-251. This is an intimidating name for a tank, a Conqueror. Hey, oh, yeah, an FE, FE215B. Eh. Oh, an Object 430, eh. the Conqueror. Mm. The, the British knew how to name their tanks. Man, that's, it that way. that's for sure. Waffles? Conqueror, Challenger. That's, that's German. Yeah, Waffles? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you got to go with this. I'm not. I'm not going to go with it. I don't uh, have to do anything. That's true. <laughs> You're a free man. Free country. America, 728 on the clock. And we see a little bit of a s- northern pressure coming up for Aquaticum 60. But DNA is there. Getting ready to stop him. They're spotting him up here. And this is where we see teams just have to go and not hit the brakes. Flash taking a lot of damage. But getting tracked is just a brakes hit for you. 1675 Ooh. on the T22. He's barely holding on. Will he go down? Bounce the shot. Not bouncing enough. And Darth Vader picks up Flesh. Now Veggie and Mr. Man coming in. They do make it there to safety. The question is, how safe will they be? And for how long? 43 seconds on the clock here. Aquatic M60s, though, are starting to get reset as Felix takes a shot from Scoopra in that Conqueror. Mr. Man popping up to take a shot, taking a lot of damage. Morphic in the RE251. Looks like he's just waiting to see if anyone's coming around. No one is yet. And then he just has to start finding these resets. 590 going to Veggie. Man, Ding is ripping apart Aquatic M60s right now. Lox is absolutely hammering AM60 right now. Coming oh, in and bringing in some man. incredible clutch moments at a time. Mr. Man taking out his own teammate in a T22 there oh. in a very tricky firefight. Granted, it's another one of those situations where it looks bad and it is bad. It's usually a multiple person mistake and it was not going to make a difference there. <laughs> the locks of putting <laughs> his clip gotcha. in at the exact right targets, the exact right time, pretty much sealed all this up. The great shooting from Ding and A in general just made this match so easy for them to win. All right here, Master Putin finishing off Morphic there. The T-22 going up the RE-251. Not a chance. Pop it is on. Game is rigged. Find the final two kills and Digging A picking up their second victory very quickly, very decisively against Aquatic M60s. Now, again, talking about when, when teams go for that northern cap, trying to push up against as far as they can to that little smaller village there in the north, not wanting to hit the brakes. But, man, getting tracked there. Oh, it's just, just heartbreaking because that, that is you're just right out of the open. Everyone's sitting waiting for you. If DNA was over more invested to the Delta Village, do you still have those shots? There's still plenty of angles yes, to get in there. There are angles, especially in the crossing when you go across the cap into those buildings in A6. Yeah. Where there's a lot of shots that can come in. And in fact, some of the best angles on that are from Delta Village. Really? Ding and A knows this. Their, their Ruinberg is pretty strong. It's one of those teams that we were talking about before. It's like Simp, Ding. Why would you play them on Ruinberg? They play it all the time. Ban it out. Ding, in, in particular, is, plays it all the time. Ban it out, yeah, for sure. But, hey, they don't want me telling you that. Let's go ahead and <laughs> check out the those. All right. The those. Thank you. That was like future predictions. I know. I was reading my mind today. 3.6 in the Conqueror by Scoopra. 2.9. Flashland in 260. 2.2 out of Aloxa. And this is this is four shots. Four connections out of five, and yeah, we had a front row seat to it. Every up. single one of them was just like, "Get out of my house!" <laughs> this is mine. All this is everybody mine. he shot, he this put him in mine. a one-shot territory and just flexed well completely done. down the A line. Well done, Putin. 
1.5, Papa D, 1.5, Game is Rigged, and Darth Vader. Not getting great angles into there, but I mean, you're looking at like one bounce out of almost every one of these guys. It's one to two, one to two. And if you go over here and you look at, uh, sorry, over here for, you're seeing an average of two. With a, man, a lot of those, a lot of AM60s didn't even get shots back. Really? That's how brutal that was. What I was trying to get to is, uh, is just a statement where Putin's teams, the teams that he's been on, hashtag are you, whoever, they, they're, they tend to have an issue. Every team has an issue, right? Sure. But it's never their shooting. Really? He's always on teams where just their, their sniping potential, their penetration rates are unreal. Hmm. I mean, hashtag are you in a brawl, if you just took out all the strategy, was one of the deadliest teams in WGLNA really? during the time. Absolutely. Huh. And there's just other stuff that they didn't get well. They get done well. But Ding and A does not have a lot of those problems, and they're still shooting well. They could be a serious contender if they step into the playoffs. All right. Which, well, no, I don't think they can, but. Try not to get relegated, which is why this is a big match for both these guys. DNA now up 2-0 to zero against Aquatic M60s. Can they continue it? Let's take a look at what we've got for our tanks. If M60s can get through this from there, they will certainly be ready and deserving of a shot at the playoff round. Dang with a 113, 2260s, a bad shot, a 907, T22, and Borsig. AM60s with the 215, 2E5s, a 140, T22, a W100, and an R251. See, both these teams heard me. Now they're bringing two types of waffles to this fight. It's just, that's <laughs> clearly what I meant. One is a, a, a large stack of waffles, <laughs> yeah, and the yeah. other is simply just a single just waffle. Just a single Ego waffle, not right. a sponsor. We solved the breakfast riddle, I suppose. Sure, yeah. We'll see where those go. We'll see uh, if this is going to be kind of the same plan that uh, Aquatic or DNA had last time. They are putting that Roomba in the same position, driven by Veloxa. Meanwhile, Veggie leading the charge there. Flesh being spotted out as well as Veggie there. Game is rigged, taking a shot. Man, the fact that T22 just took that shot on the move and connected, fantastic. Again, does it again. 307 going to Game is rigged in that bat trap. Already two early shots gone to the side of DNA. Fantastic shooting coming out from Veggie. David, the T22, is that one of those shots? Oh, we've got some cap pressure actually already being applied here. Flashlin and Darth Vader, 40 seconds on that clock. They're going to put that pressure on. They're going to try to draw Aquatic M60s out to them. Let's see how much of a nuisance Flesh can be. You know? So they're actually going to give up here and start pushing toward Delta Village. Last time this happened, Aquatic M60s got annihilated. I would uh, see if they get into the same positions. They are still pushed over on that F-Road. Darth Vader, though, takes some shots. 304 going to him. He turns around, and now they're going to start focusing back. Veloxa taking so much damage there. 392 from Morphic going head-to-head -head against him, and Morphic will be able to finish him off with an RU251. One. one more shot. He'll take him down. No, the shot just misses there. Just barely. One more. Let's see if this will be the one. No, going back for neither of them connecting. Let's go see what exactly is going on over here as Master Putin takes on Flesh. There it is. Morphic Finally finishing off a lock there, and that is two tanks gone. Oh, I see one gone for DNA, one gone for Aquatic M60s. But a fantastic job from Morphic. Let's see here. Ding and A, sorry, AM60s actually sacrificing the 140 on purpose. I was kind of trying to figure out in the beginning why the T22 was not in the most vulnerable angle of fire. He goes down to Putin there. The reasoning was. Out of the two of them, the one that can angle backwards off a dead wreck the best is the T-22. That's my guess, hmm. assuming that was intended. And Flesh going down a little bit ahead of Edgy. But either way, a great set of pickups by Ding and A, but it may not be enough for them to come back from this HP deficit they're in already. Ready Duck taking down Scoopra. We did just see uh, very shortly ago, ru 2 of one driven by Morphic going down to Ding and A as well. Aquatic just having four members against the five of Ding, but Aquatic is up in HP. So this still could be anyone's game here. The right focus from Aquatic, the right shot. And they could take this one home. 462 going to Felix. 422 back to Darth Vader. Darth Vader got to be careful. Having his backup blocked there by Flash. And Redux comes down the corner and picks him up in the 113. Here now Aquatic comes, tying it up. Here comes Mr. Man getting ready to end the game right now. Hi, Flashlin. Check out my five shots in this clip. <laughs> oh, rip. Oh, there it is. And Felix takes down Papa to John. Game is rigged, does find Shapeshifter, but now it's just Master Putin and Game is rigged versus Felix, Mr. Man, and Redux. Mr. Man still has three shots left in that E100. Game is rigged doing a good job, though, taking a lot of shots down. And Felix, one more, and he can take it, but he only has one. It's got to connect both bounce. Super unfortunate coming out there 
from that back chat. Now looking at DNA and their positions, I mean, David, you have Felix who's one shot, Redux, you have a couple shots going to him, and uh, but then and Mr. Man. What what is your priority here? If you if in a perfect world for DNA, what what do they want to take down first? Realistically, the 215B. They okay. have to take down the first tank they can kill, and that would be the 215B, followed by the WE100 to guarantee he doesn't put out a clip, assuming that he is clipped by the time this kicks off. Then the E5, more likely than not, but see, these are, these are things that are so difficult to discuss because it really depends on the situation that you're in. If you can catch any of those guys dead to rights with both your guns, you just kill whoever you get first. Gotcha. You don't want to just let an E5 shoot you because you're waiting for a 215B to poke around. Sure. That's how you lose. You lose quickly. And it's a difficult situation that every major player or every uh, pro player has to deal with at some point in time where there's a one-shot tank they're trying to get, they're trying to get, and they just can't get an angle on it. Putin putting in some cap pressure. This is actually genius mm. to cause Aquatic M60s to have to come back to him. And in the meantime, sorry, that game is rigged doing that, and Putin is coming up through the south. Now, Putin may be slightly making a mistake here by actually stepping on cap. It would have been better if he remained completely invisible throughout all of this. He is going to try and pick off oh. the 215, but there's a gigantic wreck in the way, and that's not going to make it easy for him. He does get spots on him. Ooh, first shot missing. He can't let himself risk too much HP as he is the buffer between Ding. Well, really, game is rigged. <laughs> and any tank that really wants to do a whole lot of damage. He has to take the damage to allow Game is Rigged gotcha. to come in and dump his clip. Gotcha. We'll see if he can do that there. Game is Rigged deciding to step back off of Cap for a second, going deeper into the city. And now he's going to come back again. Looks like they're just going to try it, rinse and repeat. They only have two minutes, though, and 30 seconds to do this. So they need to do it quickly. The time runs out. This game will this go will over be, to Aquatic M60s. This will be genius if Game is Rigged comes around over the top and does not, uh, does not touch Cap at all. He's doing it. He's doing it. Then he is going to be able to come around over the top. And if he sneaks in well enough, or if these guys, if AM60 accidentally get lit at the wrong place at the wrong time, game is rigged could feasibly take out two of them almost instantaneously. And then you better believe Putin will come in and ruin everybody. But Putin perhaps overplaying his hand a little bit, getting ahead of himself, going to the zero line, perpetually Letting letting the rest of oh, AM60 no. know that he can overmatch right now. Oh no! And that may be the game. Oh no! 12:46 going into him. Mr. Man just gonna drive around. Redex is coming to come from the side. He has the shot. He's gonna take it. The E5 takes down Putin. And now it is just game is rigged with a fully loaded bat chat having to go against three members in a minute and 30 seconds. I just don't think it's possible. Couple shots in the Redux. The rest and maybe a Ram is what he can do into Felix if he can stay alive here. But they were ready and waiting for this. There's one going in 437. Felix is just going to shut him down immediately. And Aquatic M60s is going to pick up their first victory of the night against Ding and A. Mm. So I, 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 hear like, I just feel like the, oh, Putin. Just a no, little too aggressive? Yes, from our perspective. But we don't, it's hard for us to keep track of what he saw before he did what. And he's the one that has the HP. If anybody's going to move up too aggressively, it is he needs him. to be him. Uh, Vol or, uh, game is rigged there. Ideally, you could have gotten him in the zero line before you did that. He wasn't getting spotted in the A line. But it's a gamble. Hmm. For, for all they knew, the W100 could have been the only tank sitting all the way there in the back further down the zero line, which is not an uncommon sure. position for sure. him. And you run smack dab into that in the wrong situation. He's going to kill game is rigged in one, two seconds. Yeah. And then there's no way Putin could win. So it's, it's, so, it's, it's hard. It's hard to keep in mind. Pick. Yeah, it's hard to keep in mind that also like what we see is like, oh yeah, yeah. hey, there's three guys there. You got this. Just wait. Just wait. But yeah, he doesn't and know that. I do a pretty good job of keeping track of who was spotted when, and uh, there was there was no real way for Ding and A to know what was going on there. Gotcha. Besides just intuition. Sure. And they had a lot of the right movements at the right times for the most part. They just moved into that a little bit too fast. We don't have time to go to stats for that last game this time, but we'll do it after the follow-up game here we'll, in a we'll second. Do, we'll do a double statter. We'll do two game stats all at the it's same gonna time. It's going to be sweet, guys. It's going to be a party. So uh, make sure you're there for that, which is just not going to be – it's going to be at the end of this battle. So just stay tuned at the end of this battle. Get your friends. If you're, if, you're, you know, if you're sitting there with some of your roommates, call them in, your parents. Hey, guys, we're doing a double stat marathon coming at the end of this next battle. So get your beverages and snacks a blazing. It's going to be fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, the next battle is about to get underway. Let's see 
if DNA can make it three to one against Aquatic, or can Aquatic come back and tie it up? Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for tanks. Last chance on Runeberg for both teams to get a win. Ding and A with two 215s, a 260, a T22, a W100, and two Conquerors. AM60s with a 50B, a 215, an E5, a 1430, two T22s, hmm. and an RU251. Con a generally favoring the double tier nines over tier eight. Okay. Most of the noticing. Time. Yeah. Is the, and, and are there maps that you would, at this point in the season, be like, okay, this is definitely a bad idea if you bring two tier nines? over a, an eight, or is it still down to preference, down to strategy, down to skill? Or not skills, sorry, preference no, strategy. No, no, skills, I mean, skills are part of everything. You can come up with the best strategy on in, on Earth, but if your players don't have the skill to run it, it's a bad strategy. Sure. Does that make sense? You sure. Gotta, I mean, you gotta develop things towards your strengths and, and, and towards reality, honestly. Whoa, Putin stepped directly into Shapeshifter's line of fire, but he will back up. It'll only take one of those. He needs to get off that light fairly quickly. AM60 is actually driving by a number of shot vectors into this area. And uh -oh. now delighting. He doesn't exactly know that. He can't see that as clearly as we can. He has to count it out on his own. And now he knows it's relatively safe. How many seconds is that? Uh, eight. Eight I seconds. Believe. We generally counted to 10 to be safe. Mm. But you also kind of develop a feel for it when you play. Okay, like, sure. Okay, I'm just not lit anymore. And you got, you got a pretty good guess on that. But I believe it's eight. All right, here. Now, uh, Aquatic MC not knowing who it is, but they are pushing very aggressively into Delta Village. Veggie leading the charge there. Now, Master Putin is spotted up again, but it's going both ways as Papa John and Darth Vader are there to back him up. Battle for Delta Village. Master Putin oh. will be going down so quickly there. Nice folks fire coming out of Aquatic M60s and already a T22 gone for Dingane Shapeshifter. In the uh, on the up road in the 50B, just letting those shots go right into the side of Darth Vader. He just had actually clip early. Papa Dijon getting focused down 1396 in the 5B, oh. and Redux is gonna finish him off. Two tanks already gone, and it looks like DNA right now is just falling apart. Darth Vader taking some shots as well. It's gonna be super hard for them to come out of this one. Papa Dijon, or just Papa John this time, resting in pepperonis. <laughs> Papa John. That F road, man, is always, <laughs> always sketchy. Right now, AM60 is attempting to Dude, capitalize really a little bit good. on some of the progress they got. But they're actually paying quite a bit for it. Game is rigged now, going wow. down to Shapeshifter. Whew. Big pick up there. The 50B doing work again from the E5 position. You guys can see in the minimap in the bottom right hand corner. Delta Village is all that house the remaining members of DNA. Flashland, Veloxa, Scooper, and Darth Vader are going to do their best just to hold on. Scooper takes down Mr. Man. That is one step on the road to recovery. 1,000 points going to Veloxa, though. Scooper coming in very aggressively in that Concord. Takes a shot there on a veggie. It's bouncing. Redux takes some damage. A lot of shots going back and forth here. Being spread across both the teams, but more so on the side of DNA as Veggie takes down Veloxa. Scooper finds Flash. Flash takes down Veggie. A double kill. They're coming out for DNA. Four tanks for Aquatic. Just three for Ding. The problem is the HP is hugely in favor of Aquatic oh, and 60s. It's far from over right now, given positions. If Redux goes down to Scooper right now, Shapeshifter is still loaded. It's actually Morphic that stands the biggest chance of making the biggest impact here for AM60s as Flashlin and Scooper trying to take down Redux and Felix 7, but is now definitely winding down. There was a moment huh. where tipping over and taking out Redux would have led to a very quick kill on Felix. And that would have been a relatively fair fight, even though a 50 B can deliver a lot of pain in a short period of time. Really? It was it was close enough for me still to be excited about it. Okay. I'll put it that way. Sure. And there are certainly times where I can look at a game inside two minutes and just be like, well, it's over. <laughs> that wasn't one of them. It wasn't quite over yet. That's so funny, because that's that's actually generally the opposite of me. Where I see like things happening, I'm like, oh, this is great, this is great. And you're over there like, it's gonna be over. And there I was like, well, it's over. You're like, no, it's not. Get the uh, hang of it. So we need to get the stats. Double going stats right now. Here it is, guys. This is what we promised. So here is the game you just saw. And that would be, actually, no, that's the, here's the game you just saw. <laughs> hey. That would be Shapeshifter, 3.5 in his 50B, 2.3 for Redux, 2.3 for Felix, 1.9 for Mr. Man, 1.9 for Feji, 1.8 for Flesh, and 1,000 for Morphic. Great game for AM60s. 2.8 for Flashland, 2.4 for wow. Darth Vader. It's pretty much all that's worth reading out of that game. So a definitely one-sided match for AM6. He's getting a number of picks and a lot of good shots going into that. And then over here for the game you saw 
before the last one. Mm -hmm. So game three is the best way to put it. 3.3 for Mr. Man. Wow. Like we said, putting up great shots in his W100. 2.8 for Redux, 2.4 for Felix. And everybody else still getting in a reasonable amount, which probably explains why they won. But actually, look at this. Putin, 3.3 in his 907. 2.2 out of Flashland. 2. Point, call it 2, I guess. Uh, out of 113. <laughs> yeah, I mean, see, that, that, those four damage made me doubt whether I should round it up <laughs> or not. I don't, I'm telling you, it matters to me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, game is ranked with two. 1.8 for Papa D. Mm. So, so it kind of explained to me and you know newer viewers out there when you do see that kind of I'm, this might just be something you have to tell me is like yeah this takes a while this takes skill this takes knowing the game into it such a such a deep deep level that you can't just quickly teach it but when you do see you know when it's three on five and it's like oh in my mind oh that that's clearly over but you know there are still those shots if you took out Redux quickly then you know Dina could yeah. come back what, is there is there an easy way to describe why that is just looking at the it's the, Auto snow versus it's the snowballing of, of guns. Is that, it's that simple, right? So one team can have four tanks, but if two of them aren't in the fight, so say it's a, it could be a 5v3, but if it's, and that's, that's the overall general picture, Kay. but if it's a 3v2 in a corner, the three can take out the two, now it's a 3v3. Gotcha. See what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, so it's look, not looking, always looking at their, the situation that they're in as well. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is all tied up. Now moving on into steps, DNA starting out on defense. Aquatic on offense, let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for tanks. Taking A with a 260 and E5, a bat shot, two STBs, and two M46 patents. It's the tier 9. Hey. AM60s like with two E5s and Action X, 432 T22s. For the rain, 155, 51. Artillery coming out. Now the patents, this is what we saw DNA run again and, and do a fantastic job with these two tanks, correct? Yes. Was it DNA who was doing that? Yes. Well, they were winning with them. Didn't get a good look at you know their exact play on the patents, but I did like just the idea of them because they're they are very great tanks for tier nine. I don't know exactly uh, their alpha or DPM relationship per HP for this tier. It's kind of a complicated thing to say or explain. But what I mean is, sometimes you get in these situations where you can look at a lineup and you know if you create a head-to-head -head fight, you will win mm. based on a couple of different things. The Patton has pretty decent alpha for a medium, which is why I like it. So it can go not really hull down. I mean, it, you can penetrate its turret fairly easily. Not incredibly easily, but it's the biggest thing is it's long. Okay. As you can see here on the side of it. So when it turns huh. a little bit at all, you can typically fire right through it. And uh, even on the front of it, there are places that you can fire straight through, especially if you're firing high penetration heat rounds. You just slice right through, no big deal. But for tier nines, they've got pretty decent alpha, great depression. So they can just peek over a corner like and double tap something and do like 800 to 1,000 damage sometimes. Wow. I mean, it, I mean look, just look at their build. It's like, oh, that looks like a sniper tank. Super long barrel. Good alpha. Yeah, it doesn't aim as fast as you would think. Okay. Given, I mean, barrel length is no is a good, uh, good indicator of those kind of statistics. But you're not wrong. It can snipe fairly well. Not, not fantastically. Uh, but, you know, we're talking about some very subjective terms, and everybody's got their own opinions about whether something has got good depression or bad depression. We had a little bit of a discussion about whether the 50B had good depression before, and right. I said it had decent depression. Realistically, the numbers aren't particularly great. But the thing is, it, it, it's, it's the shape of the tank. In certain angles, it has good depression. Okay. It, it's, it's super difficult to describe because it's kind of a meta, uh, meta topic. Objectively, this. not really. Okay. But depending on how you use it, yes. Like the I-7 in hull down, for example. Yes, in a hull down, I-7 is killer. It's god tier, right. almost. <laughs> right. But how often do you actually get an I-7 to be hull down mm. where your poking doesn't expose like the front pike I or see. something like that? Not as often as you would so like. On paper, it's like, oh, this should absolutely. But then it's like, well, when we get into it. Right. So that's why that's why I ended up saying the E5 is one of my more favorite ones because you can move around and snipe with it over over berms much more efficiently than you can with a lot of other tanks. Now, don't get me wrong. If I can put an I-7 hull down, I'll oh, take it all day. Veloxa. There we go. A little bit of action coming out over here on the left. Veloxa actually driving across the open here. Yeah, There's yeah. a big mistake. He will go down, undoubtedly, to Flesh. It is 430 picking up that final shot there. Ding and A trying to flex around the outside. And 
not getting it done, but now they're going to go all in over the northeast to try and make up oh, for that. Let's see if they can also pick up Morphic here as we do have a fight happening in the north right now. 374 there going into Flashland. It looks like they do have a slight take advantage. We'll see if they can translate into a win here. Flash taking so much. 1289 going to that tank. 1,000 going to Felix. He's hanging on by just a thread. Flashland's going to finish him off there. And that is now the tank first falling for Aquatic M60s. Ding and A though, dropping two as well. Game is rigged. 344 going to hit. Morphic coming now to join the fight. And his T22 bouncing a shot there. Game is rigged, taking 1,700 points of damage. Too much to handle. And he goes down. One of those patents now fallen. Next, that is both Ooh. the patents gone for Ding and A. As the action X was just the doom to this strat so far from the position I see him. And he had to have done a boatload of damage. If he didn't, I'd be very surprised. Booty picking up Morphic there. Darth Vader going oh, down. Yeah, there it is. Now Flashland is next as this game grabs to a close. Fairly early for Ding and A. Roughly a three, no, four minute game. Bottom game six, he's doing a fantastic job. Master Putin just gonna come over the top, taking a shot from Redux and Lorraine, I believe, as well. Looks like he's gonna reveal himself, which might give Papa John a chance to take out that artillery. He is one more shot away from doing so. He just gets unlit. Can he blind fire it? No, no. He looks like Redux is going to get out safe and sound. They know where Papa Dijon is at. He is still lit. He will be going down here. Watakam 6 is picking up a victory on offense onto steps. Not a small feat indeed. Deji might be picking that one up. So let's see if Lorraine can get it. I'm, I'm predicting it. Lorraine, Lorraine shot. Come on, go. Ah, Mr. Man picks it up there. And that is a Quadric M60. He's now increasing that lead. Three to two against DNA. One of the things that I saw uh, as we were kind of talking about, you know, the differences um, of the patent is looking at uh, uh, Master Putin with a couple of the members of Ding was, like you said, flexing around, trying to p find someone to pick up. And in my mind, I was like, oh, obviously, you know, the other team is bringing aquatic, bringing artillery. So he might be down the south, you know, left by himself. If we bring three to generally, you know, one or two tanks that are there, we'll pick it up. Once they saw that he wasn't in there, they continued to push up. And then that retreat, you said he drove right out in the open. And that was just the biggest mistake. Yeah. I don't know why you would choose that vector out of everything else to try to escape. It would have been better to even get on the back side of that ridge and just hold there than to run out because then people don't have to poke as far. Huh. Okay. So that's one of the things when you run away from a ridge. If somebody peeks over it, they can fire at you because you've effectively made the angle of depression that they need awesome. shallower because the right. further you get away from it, the less they need it, right? Yeah. So if you're helping them out. If you get directly underneath there, they have to come up and over and sometimes you can shoot them right through the track and keep them there. And it wombos backwards very, very quickly. That is dirty. Let's look at the statistics. Mm -hmm. See Shapeshifter's game of the night. There it is. Surprise. 3.6 thousand damage. Man. Easy, easy shots, easy life. Just sat, <laughs> sat no, in the A line. Everyone's coming to fight for Ripping me? up E5s Great. for fun. Mr. Man, 2.2. Flesh, 2.2. 1.94. Both Veggie and Morphic. Papa Dijon, 2.6 in his STB, 2.1 for Putin. And nobody else really getting a whole lot. Baloxa getting absolutely melted. That was the one that we saw attempt to escape across the open there. Didn't work out. No. To say the least. No. You guys you guys saw that didn't work out at all. And again, kind of reminding what we talked about is Aquatic M60s are in that possible playoff position. And yes. if they can go up against DNA and win and get a victory here, like you said, after that amazing brawling potential DNA has, it's gonna set them up even better to be in the playoffs. Teams that are fairly new-ish, and there's a lot of experience on this, they need to practice against people that they can they, they can beat, but they also need to be tested a certain amount. And teams that have good brawling potential, but maybe aren't aren't working well in strategy or cohesion, not saying that's ding and A, just saying as a, as a theory, those yeah. are some of the best teams to practice. So this kind of game so far is definitely going to help them as a team in general. All right, well, let's see if they can pick up their fourth victory now as they are on defense on steps. So if DNA can come back and tie it up, let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for our tanks. Ding NA with a 260, two bad shots, a 140, an STB, and a T22. Throwing an AMX 1390. Now you're cooking up a strategy. Now you've got a team. AM60s with two E5s, two 140s, two T22s, and an RU 251. All right, here, Morphic. Take a little bit of damage. <laughs> he got in the way of uh, one of his teammates there. A little early ram, you know, giving Ding and A a little bit of handicap there. That's the rest of them moving over to a very kind of standard defensive strategy. Nothing too aggressive coming out of Aquatic M60s right now. And Ding and A sitting game is rigged in the bat jet. As Master Putin said, he's getting out of it and putting in game is rigged into it. So we'll see how he does right now. 
And uh, the rest of them moving up toward the north. But Object 140 in the center road. Batchet coming to the south to make sure. So not as heavy of a, of a presence normally that we see from some teams. What is you know, what is these positions kind of spell out for DNA to you? Um, well, oh, so for Ding, it's just kind of a spread control to make sure that they own the half of the map that they essentially should own immediately. Okay. I mean, you you got to understand that both teams have to come from spawn points, so there will be lines drawn, and they will, uh, you want to hold them, you want to keep them. So, Scooper in the middle, and game is rigged all the way in the south. They're going to allow them to keep that territory for very minimal risk. Okay. As getting spotted and continuing to push for AM60s would be borderline nuts. Unless good you call. got unless good you got call. a really good strategy for getting it done. So, AM sixties checked, maybe got spotted. I don't think they got spotted at all. They're probably looking more for incoming, and neither really saw much of the other. And they're rotating back to handle more of northern cap. They see the two sixty here, and that is pretty much everything they need to know. That there will be some attempt at the northern play. You will not just leave a two sixty stranded out there. Hmm. Nobody does that. Hmm. Well, or you do that for some sake of mind games. Uh, the days of that are. So fortunately <laughs> gone for WGLNA. <laughs> there was a period of time when people would do that kind of thing, and it was like, cool, you might get a win off me, but if you're resorting to that, you're going to lose this match set. You <laughs> will lose this match set. All you're going to do it's is like now... It's like one, one, you just pull it out once. Yeah, all you're going to do is, is like rile me up, and then you're never going to get practice from me, ever. You're like, oh, this is what you do? Yeah, yeah. Wow. No. Oh, Shapeshifter! Popping Ooh. up for a little too long, taking a thousand points of damage there from three members of Ding. Now popping down right back. They're still being spotted out. Are they being spotted by Putin right now? They would have to be spotted by Scoopra? Who is that? Scoopra could be doing it a little bit. This thing may just be going nuts, honestly. What is reporting us that they're spotted because some of the places he was being spotted don't seem really possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Digging Scooper. called in a satellite. Yeah, it's, it's going to have to be Scooper there. And Scooper even got the shot off. That can't be possible. He's going straight through. Straight through the trees? Is it Flashly? No, Scooper just got the no, other Scoop shot as well. Scooper's got shots. Okay, there, there he gets spotted back. I think it's Flashly. Really? Oh, well, there we go. it might be Flashly. Five oh five. I'm going to check. I'm going to do what I can to figure this out. All right, here. You keep on keeping on. I'll, I'll do some investigation. David, David don't leave me for too long here as Redux taking a little damage there from Flash and Cap Pressure going on to Ding and A. 41 seconds. And they're sending Morphic in the RE251 to just try to find him because they need to get those resets. But Ding and A is trying to stop Morphic from getting close at all, dropping him below half health and taking him out of the fight. They did, though, light up Romstar. So that is exactly what Aquatic M60s needed to get that reset. He's just going to wait probably until he is delit and then just go right back in again. Scooper's position, so good for picking off tanks that attempt to do that. Yeah. Always a tad frustrating for me when I see tanks go into this area where Morphic was and survive. Don't get me wrong. If you need a spot, it's a great place to be. When they go in there and live, a little it, part of me dies. Your team's doing something, maybe. A little part of me dies off. every time. It's just such an easy area to get shots on. It's somewhat, somewhat tricky, but Putin getting a little bit more shots here in E5. It has to be Flashland. <laughs> yeah. There's, I mean, it's probably, He's realistically, it's probably both Flashland and Scoopra from different angles at different times. But I've seen some strange behavior from the way that Flashland is driving, where he's backing up all the way over here. That it, Maybe that's why they bring the 260s. It's got some sort of vision, oh. vision thing. Aquatic M60s going to try to shut down the 260. Flashland taking 640, 954 going on him. Flesh holding a shot. A lot of damage going uh, from DNA. A lot of shots, no damage. They did track Flashland, however, and the battle for over on the northern side of the railroads has begun. This is DNA's opportunity to light up the members of Aquatic M60s as they pass through. So <laughs> much damage going on <laughs> the side of them. Flashlight, though, taking a shot, still alive. He might be able to get one more shot off. No, Felix takes him down before he does. And that is going to be a tank now down for DNA. Aquatic M60, though, Master Putin dropping, Mr. Man. And that is two gone for them, down about 5 or 4,300 points of HP. And they're bleeding more every single second. And with all their members here, really no place to run. DNA is just going to basically take this one home, it looks like, and then tie it up. 3-3 three three here, Veggie taking a shot. 368 going to him. Luckily bounced that one, but not one from Papa Dijon here. Game is rigged, getting focused down to 55 points of HP in that batch hat. Scooper finds Shapeshifter. That's another tank down for Aquatic. Redux finally finished him off that batch hat, but Master Putin takes Felix down. And now just Redux and Flesh are alive for Aquatic M60s. 
one on one. Not really a one so on one here. This this angle right here. Now we see tanks go where we see Putin, but we just saw Putin all the time. And that is a hull down STB place. Ah. That is one of the things we've been talking about. You just saw it. And you just saw it. Oh, you saw it. Hull downing and the power of it. Uh, congratulations, DNA now tying them up three to three here. Uh, looking at from what Kodak M60s did, it just seems like that spot. I mean, the fact they just took so much damage and not able to safely reset the cat made them go, guys, we need to do something. They decided to push. It didn't work out for them. Is that something you would have been like, okay, guys, yeah, we took a lot of damage here. They're obviously spotting down in a place that we are not used to or we never see before. Let's just do that. So that was that the kind of the uh, best guess? You know, teams that push up and over the rail line, if you're asking me what they're thinking, <laughs> I'm never going to have an answer. I've already explained a couple different times I think it's terrible. Yeah. So I'm just trying to see if you I don't know. have a new one. Maybe maybe they're thinking they want to want to practice draw situations. So oh. let's go up and over and <laughs> <laughs> try and... Try and do this. There you Let's go, guys. go to the statistics. Over the railroad, draw territory. Putin throwing his hat in the ring, 4.6 thousand damage. I got him on my team. No big deal. Just just a huge deal, yeah, STB. Putin. He only blocked 320. So apparently, well, I mean, they are pro players. So firing at a hull down STB, a lot of people know that it's just not going to happen. So they probably spent more time trying to hit the shot than actually just slinging them so that you don't get this high damage block thing. Gotcha. That's like we we're talking about with the T-22. Well, we'll come back to this. Yeah. 2.7 out of Scoopro, 1.6, 1.6 Papa D. And it actually was Scooper that was doing the spotting with 977. Wow. Flashland did, uh, he, you know, he spotted some and they got 105 out of it. And he spotted a total of five of the enemy vehicles first, which is just Wait, strange so, to so, me. Yeah, so he so, spotted it, but then Scoopra so the followed answer, it up. The answer was, in both. fact, both. Yeah. Uh, and nice. then, yes. M60's having a rough game. So that's the kind of thing we're talking about with uh, tanks having more effective armor when people don't know how to penetrate it. So the T22, we've seen consistently huge, huge damage Crazy. coming out of, of uh, the blocks on the T22. Yeah. So people know, well, they know you can't technically pen the side of a T22, but you can. So they just shoot So it's it, kind of trolly. But like the turret of an STB, you're just like, nah. <laughs> nah. don't, I mean, not yeah. not don't unless it, not unless it. you know it's gonna go through. You got a really high pen and heat round, and you got a good angle on it. But the way Putin was doing it, it's just like, nah, leave him, dude. All right, well, well, well done for a DNA coming back and tying it up. They are now back on defense. Let's see if they can find another victory or can Aquatic find their fourth. Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for tanks. Digging A with a 260, an E5, a bad shadow, 140, an STB, and two M46 patents. Aquatic M60s with an E5, two 140s, two T22s, and two ST1s. Oh, yes. I did a little bit of research to verify, because people have been telling me it's STI. No, it's ST1. It's it's STI. I think it's ST lowercase l. That is my, that's uh, mine. Well, it's just, it's, it's like everybody thought. It's a Roman numeral. So it's, oh. both are correct. Okay. But uh, do you really call, like, Tier 10, Tier X? No. You call no, it Tier 10. No way. Even though it's a Roman numeral. Yeah. So I'm going with the ST1. Yeah. Heck I'm going yeah, with the ST1. Are. And I feel like that is more correct. Anything else? Although, I did see one person mention in chat that stone is what they call it. You know, get it, ST1? Stone? Oh. Look, so that's, so it, yeah. That's a tricky name. Stone. I'm not going to use it, but I like it. Yeah, stone. Oh, I get it. 100% I get it. Oh, man. This isn't going over my head at all. <laughs> <laughs> ST1. Spell it all out. Oh, st okay, now got it. Thank you, David. This is why I love you. A minute gone down, and uh, we have a very aggressive aquatic going over to the uh, eastern side, leaving that northern cap out, which is something David looks like they're listening to you. Yeah, the uh, northern cap, not something you do on the offense, and the aquatic's like, all right, all right, we're going we're gonna to trust David, we're going to trust well, Megatron and his wisdom. The ST1's pretty good indicator that you're going to either go to A5 with them or pretty much do exactly what they're doing right now. Given how many heavies AM60s actually has, mm -hmm. just an E5 and two SD1s, pretty good odds they're going to go east, in my opinion. It's so much hull down potential. And we've limited our, our hull down question of the day to tier 10s. Right. So you haven't heard people answering, well, SD1, because it's a tier 9. This thing is vicious, vicious in a hull down. <laughs> so a uh, lot of good hull down positions over on the eastern side? Yeah, I mean, that's by far the most important part. You see people bringing action X's over here just because they need the depression, which is the most important part. But having armor with it as well, certainly handy. Whoa, Ding. Now, Ding's got, so, Ding's got the right idea. This pocket right here is most vulnerable 
from That's the area it. that Putin is in relatively right now. Mm -hmm. Shapeshifter uh, getting spotted out. I don't know if he's actually going to stop there. But if you can get spotting, oh, looks like looks like he's seeing it. Looks like he's seeing it. He knows. And he's going to start pumping shots from the side of the ST1s. There's one shot for 436. Missing the second one. Third one getting lined up. Ooh, Glam Shapeshifter. Adding up 757 along with another teammate. Missing his fourth shot and his fifth. Also going down. Now, hard to say from that angle whether they were actually complete misses or just non penetrations into the side of tanks. As ST1 MP5s are not easy to penetrate. Oh, Master Putin, though, now taking a response. Flesh doing that first bit of damage there onto that bat chat. Morphic coming around to join him. He's going to go head to head against oh, Romstar. Romstar. Oh, Romstar might be getting caught out here. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if DNA can come back and save him. 645 going into him. The focus from Aquatic M60 is definitely going into that pattern there. 1251. A couple more shots. He'll be going down. Morvik's going to have it from the back. Mr. Man is going to be able to finish him off there in that T22. And the first tank fallen for DNA. Meanwhile, Scoopra taking 767 himself in that pattern. Man, Aquatic M60 is trying to get these patents out of the way as quickly as possible. Morphic taking 1166 in that 140, having to back off here. Scoopra again, more damage. And the rest of Ding now flash and join with Darth Vader. They're trying to push in to uh, Felix Shapeshifter and Redux there, not quite working now. Another tank falling for DNA. And it looks like Aquatic M60s might be able to pick up another win on victory. As we have learned, this might be too early to tell. Master Putin is clipping. He is on the run. He's coming back to join. Game is breaking. He has to be on top of the hill still. Taking some shots there. Firing into Mr. Man. 379 going into him. And we'll see kind of where this battle goes from here as half of it is gone. Four minutes just going by. Darth Vader taking a shot. 428. But now, David, like you said, I mean, these positions that Aquaticum 60 is in in the east were very susceptible to where Ding A was. Now that he's got bullied out of there. So, I mean, how are they going to break them are they going to break Aquatic M60s from these new relocated positions? It's going to be incredibly difficult. But Ding and A does have a little bit of an opening here as most of the tanks are going very, very low for AM60s, but Ding and A running out of guns to shoot for. Yeah, Flash finds Papa Dijon. Game is rigged. There he goes, taking down Morphic. And that is the first tank fallen for Aquatic M60s. And even though Ding only has four, Aquatic M60s are lower. And HP, Master Putin, is reloaded. He is now letting his shots fly onto Felix, onto Redux there. 439 going into him. He's holding it. He's got to be careful. One more shot. He'll be going down. Redux taking a shot from the side from Darth Vader. But Master Putin staying alive. Flashland takes down Redux. And Game is rigged. Finds Flesh. Ding and A has turned this around. It is now a four on three in favor of the defense. Aquatic M60 down to Mr. Man, Veggie, and Felix. Mr. Man, Veggie, both about one more shot away. Felix maybe has a few, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see if Aquatic M60s now what they do as DNA are now on defense as well with an HP advantage, with a tank advantage. This is looking great for them. We see tanks get boosted into that area so often, but usually it's something like an RU251. This time around. Ding and A decided, let's put game is rigged in an STB up there. And it has paid off this game <laughs> so much. I'm interested to see how much damage he's done overall because he has finished off at least one tank uh, from what I remember. And he has also just been pummeling people who take wrong steps and they're not realizing where he is. All right here. Just shot barely going over Felix's head there. But that one going to connect. Master Putin reloaded and ready to kill. Taken down Felix, leaving just Mr. Man and Veggie. And man, what a turnaround from Ding and A. Just kind of looking at that from this perspective. I mean, all members of Aquatic up. Ding down to like four, five, barely holding on there. And then just one after another, after another, after another Aquatic just going down. Dave, like you said, I mean, the, I don't know if you consider that whole thing just two separate brawls, but the, the brawling for Ding and A, super impressive. They were separate in a sense, and in other cases, they weren't. Putin sending shots into both fights from the positions he was in. Mm. And a lot of AM60s actually lighting up Putin to try and reconnect at different times. Flash is going over here to finish off <laughs> Mr. Man. Wow, hi. And then he's just going to block Veggie. Here comes Master Putin. That's what Daniel Tovarish. There is. Da. Oh, Darth Vader takes down Putin. Just uh, keeping him in his place. You know, you don't want him to get. Don't want him to get too uh, too much of an inflated ego there, but a great <laughs> victory coming out for Ding and A. Now making it four to three against Aquatic. One more, and they will finish our second match. Be interesting to see if Aquatic can come back. Let's, let's go to the stats. Yeah, let's check out some stats. Start with AM60. Veggie with 2,000, 1.6, 1 1.5, and 1.3 out of Redux, Morphic, and Mr. Man, mm. respectively. Now for the big reveal. Ready? Uh, Oh, wow. Hello, game is rigged. 
firing fairly accurately from where he was. I mean, hitting 15 shots and penetrating 10 of them from his pedestal, from how far some of those shots were, mm. not bad. Welcome to Dingane. Not bad. Two kills, 3.6 thousand damage. Putin also, in my opinion, probably the hero of the game. His movement. Just back and forth. His target selection. Yeah. Almost 5km traveled. I mean, are you serious right now? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> that map was his. That map was his. He almost got out four full clips. Granted, he didn't pen uh, quite a bit of his shots, but it doesn't matter. 2.9 thousand damage and three kills. 1.9 for Scooper, 1.8 for Papa John, 1.5 for Darth Vader. So, now, again, quickly as we're kind of focusing on, on Master Putin's plays right there, in an autoloader, you know, you were talking about when you, know, when you were teaching me how to play, you take your shots, and then if you don't need to stay there, the best thing is to do is to relocate. Just get out, drive Absolutely. around, and then come back. And Master Putin showing a phenomenal job of that. Got a you got to kind of try and read the future a little bit. Are you going to get those shots again? I mean, a lot of time, if, if somebody saw you, they're not going to poke back out unless sure. you light them up again. Well, they shouldn't. <laughs> they do sometimes. They ha it happens. But it's not a bad deal or a bad idea in a lot of situations to just hit C to change your whole container out, to re reload your clip. Drive away. Drive away and show up someplace else. Yeah. Ca you cause, got the speed. cause more confusion there. You got the speed. You got the speed, you got the power, you got you, you got it. You got it, kid. You got it. Just do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Dinkin' A, one more victory away from closing out the night. Let's see if they can or can Aquatic M60s come back and tie it up. Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for our tanks. Dinkin' A with a 260, 225, or two bat shots, a 140, an STB, a T22, and an MX1390. AM60 with two E5s, two 140s, two T22s, and a Lorraine 51. Huh. All right, this time bringing the Lorraine on defense. It, uh, good catch. It'd be interesting. Uh, are they going to boost it? Yeah. I think they're going to boost the Lorraine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, there's, you know, David, this is what they do. New meta. Boosting the... Well, th this way. We haven't seen anybody boosting already so far. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all day. Not a WGL and A, at least. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So Redux can get on top of there. I mean, higher elevation, good. What else do you think is going to benefit an artillery from being up there? But besides just, hey, higher elevation, easier shots. Well, I mean, that's is that the main that's reason? A significant advantage on its own. Gotcha. Plus, it keeps them out of the fight, so Romstar can't come sweep him up, so they don't have to worry about babysitting him as much. Sure, freeze him out of the tank. A lot of advantages. I like it. Better I'm, angles. I'm liking it, Aquatic. I'm liking it. Let's see how let's see how this Lorraine does. I'm not a huge fan of Lorraine in this situation at all, like but. That might change things. That that vector change may make things much more interesting. Ding and A attempting a northern cap. They're going to go back to where they were with Scupra, leaving game is rigged all the way in the south to kind of manage the southern flank, just to make sure that they're safe down there and that they're not getting swept up from the other angle. Flashlin's going to drive in the same place he was before. Putin going to the same place before. So for all intents and purposes, Ding and A is running the same thing they did on their last assault, and it worked for them. So why not? We'll if, it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We'll see. Shapeshifter and a few things. <laughs> you know, again, I categorically do not like that assertion. <laughs> I think that's ridiculous. There's oh, a lot of things wait. that aren't broke that we fixed, sure. and they wait so much better. Sure. Also, for all intents and purposes, is not for all intensive purposes. I learned that. I, I know. That that's blew why my I said mind. intense. Oh, I know. I'm just saying for people purposes. out there. That's another thing that's that's mind bottling. <laughs> Shapeshifter. <laughs> Too meta. Yeah. Too meta too fast. <laughs> Guarantee you that went over at least somebody's head. All right. Oh, well, I try. I try. No, no, it's, it's actually good. I try. It's actually good. I, it's the internet, right? That's good I if like. you can do that. All right, we'll see what that Lorian can do. I'm sure it's fired a shot yet. 63 seconds, though, ding and eight. Applying that cap pressure. This time, Scoopra, uh, not in the same position he saw Shapeshifter fix last time, correct? Seems a little bit different one. Moved up north just a little bit, which I feel like is smart. Again, just kind of mix it up. You can get the same amount of, amount of spotting, but from a different location. Keep your opponent guessing. Have them figure out where you are. 43 seconds on the clock in Aquatic M60s. Now, the Lorraine, splash damage-wise, how good is it? Not. Not it's good. It, un unexistent. <laughs> Split, it, the, yes, it does not have a very large not splash. Existent. It's more accurate, and its rate of fire is better. But its splash is oh, not so good. Mr. Man, trying to go find that spot. Very, very low for dropping below half health in that T22. Now, David, this is the position you talked about. Tanks stay here. They shouldn't stay alive for long. 
And there's a shot. 327 Scooper, uh, going into him. Scooper demonstrating why, and I believe Game is Rigged has also shifted over to start pumping some bat chat rounds into him from the south. Yeah. That looks like one yep. coming in all the way over there, and there should be one more following it up. Mr. Man somehow not getting tagged, but there it goes. Scooper picking him off from that second angle. That's what I'm talking about. One, two, punch. Two different angles, and that tank will go down relatively quickly. And if you're going to put something there, it better be worth it. Well, that T22 now gone for Aquatic M60s. DNA just oh. going to... Start putting cap pressure. This might be, this might have been the intent. Try and bait game is rigged out, make him spend his clips. So he could pick him off with the mediums. If that is the purpose, it was certainly worth the T22. However, he probably want to get it going a little bit faster. Yeah, so it seems like to me be more gone. like a, a situational decision that was made and a great one. It's something that could be incorporated a bit into strategy later because that is pretty guaranteed that somebody's going to try and take those shots from that angle. But now that they're moving up the middle, oh, cool. only yeah. 20 seconds left, and Gamers Rig is very intelligently going to cut them off right down the center. They're going to have to either deal with him or and and stop, or they're, he's just going to light them up from the sides as they try and do this. But either way, Aquatic M60 is looking very, very close to a loss here. They only have eight seconds to figure out what to do and get a reset on one of these members. And there's the stop. Scooper actually coming to join him, just pumping the brakes for Aquatic M60's Venti running right around. The clock goes down to zero there. The shot just missing, it looked like, coming out from the Lorraine. Scooper picks up Morphic, and DNA has successfully capped against Aquatic M60s here on steps and found their fifth victory closing out the night for Aquatic M60s. Now we talked about the kind of importance of this game, so DNA really wanted to win this so they could stay out of that relegation territory. So, I mean, a fantastic way to put it, they didn't go into a tiebreaker, a great job. The Lorraine didn't even hit anything. Okay, so they didn't get spots for it to do the resets. The motion over the south, Basically, the way I would summarize it is this. Ding and A did the cap fast at the right time in the right situation. They hmm. got enough contact in the south. They knew they were very unlikely to be reset. They had already picked up a T-22. They weren't looking at like, a whole lot eh, of opposition left. Good. So they just put them on cap. That is a situation where I, I love it. Huh. I love it in that situation. It's, yeah. it's great. You you have control of the map. You know you're going to win with it. And if they come, yeah, if they come to you they come as they did, it. they just tore them up. And yeah, game game there actually way overplayed. He didn't need to actually physically block anything. He could have just sat there and tracked them all over one after one. But it didn't matter, and he knew it. Right. I mean, game is rigged. Is a great player. He'll put it on the line when it matters. It didn't in that one instance. The all I had to do was be there. And as soon as he <laughs> showed up, it was over. Everyone's like, ah. Speaking of which, game is rigged with 1.6. Scooper with 1.3. Everyone else in the entire match below 1,000. All right, there you go. Congratulations to Dingane there, picking up that victory against Aquatic M60s, closing out our second match of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, do not go anywhere. Match number three, coming right up.